How did it... <laughs> what? That might be science, right? <laughs> this thing looks so naked. <sighs> I think is now named Bob. All right, well now what? Ugh. <laughs> of all the stupid ideas that I've had. Hello and welcome back to another episode of No Suit Survival. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode 19. So before we get started with our to-do list this week, uh, I was planning on picking up where we left off last week, but uh, let me just go out here really fast for a second. Uh, this, uh, this rover, the crawler, trying to like figure out what was going on with the wheels really got away from me. I was like super confused. I am so confused as to what exactly is going on. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> How is this possible? For some reason I had it in my head that the, like, the previous version of this thing had 5x5 five five wheels. I don't understand why I thought that because I went back and like watched previously and I definitely had 3x3 three three wheels. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind off these these huge wheels and I'm going to put the 3x3s three back on there, see if I can make that work. So that's one of the things that we're going to do. We're going to put the we're going to put the 3x3 three three wheels back on there. Uh, in addition, I also uh, was given some advice by somebody in the comments saying that I, I could stabilize the mine by actually turning the uh, that center rotor into a static grid. And I, and I don't know why I didn't think about that before. That's such a good idea. And I'm so grateful that, that I was given that advice because that makes total sense. I think we have four pistons vertically and I think six pistons horizontally and then the rotor and then all of that backwards. Uh, and that's our drill. And so there's a lot of subgrids. And even though share inertia tensor is on every one of those things, it's just that many subgrids, it gets a little bouncy. And so by turning the center rotor into a static grid, it will eliminate about half of those subgrids kind of factoring into that, that weight distribution. And so I think that's a great idea. So much so, in fact, that I think that's probably what we're going to start off with today. So let me pause this mine so that way it will stop moving and, and we can work on it. Let me get some food and water and let's go grab one of the turtles and we'll, we'll go get that thing set up. Okay, I just, I need to double check every time to make sure that I did get on from the ladder. So I did, so we should be good. Yeah, so we have these four pistons up here and then four, five, six, yeah. So, so by making this endpoint a static grid, it's really gonna help us out a lot, I think. Um, I was also given another suggestion that uh, I should build a gyroscope over at the end over here where our other decoy is um, and if if the static grid doesn't eliminate enough of the jiggle I might consider that but I also know that gyroscopes as evident by a lot of the crashes I've had previously do tend to cause some clang um, and and so if I throw a gyroscope on there and I mess the settings up it could catastrophically damage our mine and have to rebuild it yet again. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get away with just turning this thing into a static grid first and then and then we'll go from there. I just have to make sure I don't get too close because I don't wanna like jiggle it. See it's jiggling. I wonder if I should do it to the side. Ah oh, man, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. I thought I could just walk up and do it but the issue is is that you, you need it to be totally, like its speed needs to be zero. And I think for some reason when I get close to it, I don't know if it's the hitbox of my welder or something, but when I get too close, it starts to, it starts to make it wiggle a little bit. So even though the mine is paused, I do still get a little bit of issues. My assumption would be that if I just stay here and don't move the ship, it should eventually stop moving but the question is, is does my, do I have enough health for this? Come on. 
Uh, how is it still moving? Uh, I wonder, would it be helpful if I turned this into a static grid first? I imagine it wouldn't hurt, because that should get rid of at least some of the angular momentum. That is now a station, so that gets rid of those four piston subgrid shenanigans. And then now we have these six pistons. Let's see. Uh, come on. Oh, yeah! We got it. Ah, uh, man, that took significantly longer than I was expecting, but uh, we did it. Okay, so now this is a static grid and that's a static grid over there. So hopefully that wasn't just a waste of time. Hopefully that makes a pretty substantial difference in the shakiness of our mine. All right, we have stabilized the mine. Let's move that over to the done list. Stabilize mine, done. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna move the fix the crawler up and and build more power generation down. Gosh, this, the starting the design of our, sh of our spaceship has given me so much like anxiety because I have no idea where I'm gonna even begin with that. I don't know, let's not think about that right now. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I've actually had something kind of on my mind that I've been wanting to do for the base. And so, why not just do it? I want to create a second um, turtle docking platform right next to this one. Because now that we have the turtles that do very specific jobs, it would be nice to be able to switch between the welding one and the grinding one, or the welding one and the mining one. Just instead of having to go into that garage up there, I think that that's what we're going to work on right now. And then, and then we'll you know, fix the rover. So with that in mind, we get two things. One, a montage. And two, we get rid of this freaking dust. All right. <laughs> connector in the wrong spot. What just happened? What just happened? Where? Who attacked me? There's not even a ship around. The Oban top. This thing is six kilometers away. There's no way that, that thing could have sent missiles this far. Oh, and now a storm's coming. Great. What the? What? Holy cow. Okay, well, this project's pretty much over. Holy cow. That was nuts. It would be one thing if like we saw a ship, but we did not see a ship. Let me hop in this. Let me see if I can see anything. Oh, there is a ship. It just crashed right over there. Dang. Oh, I really hope it didn't damage my mine at all. I mean, it doesn't look like it went all the way over there. It looks like it. It looks like it just hit this main front tower. Wow. I am so glad we have a hill between us and that thing. Okay. Well. Uh. Uh. This wasn't on the list previously, but we. We built a new turtle dock. Oh man, I'm so glad it shot at the at the tower rather than at my base. Cause I also have a decoy back here. That was like our first decoy that we built. Yeah, there's my other decoy. So I'm so glad <laughs> it didn't choose this decoy than the, de the other decoys. What just, oh man. Oh my gosh, we lost a bunch of the of the catwalks on the top of that thing. You know what I'm just now realizing? When we go to space, 
we're gonna have to redesign these towers. So maybe I should do that before we go to space. Because we're gonna need this kind of stuff. Um, obviously wind turbines aren't gonna be helpful, so maybe we'll have to design something that incorporates solar panels. But we're gonna need something that is pressurized, right? Like we can't, we can't just have a, a tower like this where you can run around. I'm gonna put that on the to-do list while we wait for this storm to clear out. Okay, we need a 2.0 pressurized tower. And we also need the storm to go away. I want to go check out that wreck over there. With any luck, the lightning zapped off the, the, t the turrets on that thing. That would, how nice would that be? Is if I could just go over there. Ooh, it is striking it. Yeah, I do get comfort out of the fact that I am not the only one that is struck by lightning. Like, it's, it, it is indiscriminate. It will strike everything and everyone. So that is a little bit of a comforting fact. All right, I think since the storm is gone, I think this might be a good time to uh, take those five by five wheels off that crawler. Oh, we should also fix, fix this stuff really fast because it is broken. Yeah, let me fix it before I dock this thing. Yeah, what the crap, Welder? Where were you at? Did you get destroyed too? You were supposed to keep this thing alive. Uh, maybe he was dead. Missiles do be like that sometimes. Okay, well, I'm not gonna worry about the catwalks. I really don't go up there that often, so... All things considered, I think this tower did its job pretty well. Alright, and in the spirit of fixing stuff, let's also go over to this thing and let's weld up the decoy again. Ah, uh, there we go. And let's see if we can straighten all this stuff out. And I guess weld some stuff that I neglected to weld earlier. Might as well do that to this side as well. Okay, so here's a question. I was planning on getting rid of the 5x5 five five wheels. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I'm still going to get rid of the 5x5 five five wheels. I was going to say, like, maybe we could keep them, but I'm pretty sure universally everyone hates the large grid 5x5 five five wheels. And so, I just don't want to deal with that headache. Oh my gosh, this thing just, ugh, it takes so long. Wait, what? What the crap? What the, oh, did something disconnect our, our cargo over here? Yep, oh, yeah, that would do it. Huh, <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's fix this up then, huh? I think a stray missile got over here. All right, there we go, we're back online. That was very confusing. So. I'm starting to think maybe what I should do is, I mean, looking at our looking at our production over here, we have, well, uh, one, we have two million gravel, which I am not going to do anything with. Um, so we could for sure get rid of that. But second off, like, like I have 1.2 million iron and like just most of the stuff that I'm getting from the stone itself, like refining all of that stone is kind of, I mean, it's not pointless, but I have, I have such an abundance of resources. It might make sense to just start throwing out that stone and that gravel to clear up a bunch of inventory room, so that way the mine stops pausing. And so, yeah, I think I think that might be worthwhile because I, I feel like I feel like I want this mine to start getting to like the good stuff before I can like comfortably leave because. I'm gonna want a gravity generator. I'm gonna want, I mean, hopefully I can get some ion thrusters and, and I want uranium for batteries. Like there's just so much stuff down there that I need that I probably should have made a smaller mine if I had this foresight, but clearly I did not. So it might make more sense to just set up a little like a little dumping station. Yeah, I have a million iron. Like what am I gonna do with a million iron? Uh, I think this is probably a job for our block placer friend. You know what's funny is at the beginning of this series, I would constantly get uh, <laughs> get distracted by rover projects, and now I keep procrastinating this rover project. It's kind of funny. I think this thing needs more batteries. Alright, yeah, I'm going to add some more batteries to this thing because it, it kind of... It can't handle the amount of uh, stress we put on it. 
Yeah, that works much better. Yeah, I think that that will help us out a lot more. Okay. Uh, let's see if... Do I have any uranium? A very small amount. All right, we'll let that charge up for a little bit. We'll let the mine run for a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't auto-pause again very soon. It's going to auto-pause again pretty soon. <laughs> uh, you know what I might do at some point? Just maybe like episode 19.5 or something. I might just leave my computer running to AFK farm the mine. I wish there was a way to speed this up. Is there a way to speed this up? My first inclination is just add more drills, right? Like here, while we wait for the blocker to charge, let me take out a ship and kind of look at this. Okay, so yeah. I mean, really, yeah, if I put more, if I put more drills, right, then it would take less rotations to get through each layer. I would just need to also increase my cargo storage or uh, get that like throw out thing set up too. Probably both. Like if I doubled the amount of drills, it should theoretically have the amount of time, right? Like, is that how science works? Uh, that might be science, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Cause right now it's like 16 hours and it's just like, I can't, I, I cannot wait 16 hours. And I don't want to like completely redo this whole drill. Yeah, why don't we just, why don't we add more drills and then let's see what it says. Like, let's see how it takes down the time. So right now it says it's gonna take 13 hours to finish it. Okay, so we'll remember 13. And now let me grab stuff for some drills. <laughs> I can do this. One more. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, whew. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the base with my 11 health and uh, let's configure the mine again and see if those additional 12 will um, make a difference in our remaining time. Although that is only half the problem. The other half the problem is storage. So I definitely need to build that that thing to toss out all the gravel and stone. All right, let's refresh. 24 drills and start. Oh, what? How did it? <laughs> what? How could it have possibly gone up? I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna read the program. So I'm gonna see if in the README there's like a an optimization thing. Okay, so according to this, the, the ratio is four drills per, per one horizontal piston. So instead of having the 24 that I just put on there, it looks like with the six horizontal pistons that I have, it should be, wait, what? Yeah, 24 is the right number. I just put on the most efficient, according to this ratio, on there, and it says it's, it went up in, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what I did wrong. I am upset. This has upset me. It's just so counterintuitive. Adding more drills should mean that it could get through its drilling process faster, right? Because it has, it takes less trips around. Uh, this sucks. Okay, well, the best thing I could possibly do now is to is to set up the ejector and i think the large grid ejector is a connector all right let me grab the stuff for that okay let's uh let's set this up so let's go to uh, sorter, let's go to whitelist. All right, there we go. looks like it's working. <laughs> I may need to uh, dig a hole where that all that can go. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I need to dig a hole for that stuff. All 
right, awesome. Now, all of that gunk will be thrown into the pit of despair. I should probably take this thing over to the welding wall. Do I have a projector? All right, let's uh, head back. All right, let's, uh, let's set up our ejectors to continue to eject. Yes, into the pit of despair. All right, let's see. Well, I'd say that's successful. Now, it probably won't be able to fully overcome all of the stone that we're getting from the mine, but that's okay. Like, I'm, I'm cool with the refineries still refining and, and getting a little bit more stuff, but it was just that we'd have to stop and go and stop and go, and that's annoying. So, um, yeah. Ooh, no. We're losing power. Great. Oh no, we're losing a lot of power. Yikes. I think I need to build more, I mean, more wind turbines would probably be a good thing too, but I think I need to have better batteries, or more batteries, because uh, when we have wind storms, we produce a crap ton and I max out my batteries. So if I just have more of them, uh, then when, when wind storms come in, I can, I can store more. Alright, see how that does. Oh man, that took a while. Yikes, but we did just make a lot more batteries. So, next time a storm hits, it should charge all this stuff up, and, uh, and we should be able to last a little while longer. Okay, I'm gonna take off the 12 drills that I put on. I don't, I don't know why we added five hours by by adding more drills but i cannot handle this my my brain is just like breaking over that idea so let's pause this and let's uh take our grinder ship and fix that uh-oh 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 whoops let's uh yeah let's just throw out all this scrap i don't really i don't really need it i have plenty Okay, we're back to 12 drills. Hopefully we can go back to 13 hours or whatever it was. Oh, you know what I bet it was? Is that with, I, I bet under normal circumstances, uh, the, the more drills would make more sense, but I bet that the, the script calculated the voxels. And so it's gonna skip all of the voxels that are already gone. And by extending it by 12, now it can't skip as much. I bet that's what it was. That's a theory at least. I could be totally wrong. There we go, back to 13 hours. It's so weird. All right, we set up the dumping station, done. All right, now we need to fix the crawler. I have procrastinated long enough this time for us to seize this moment. All right, let's take these wheels off. thing looks so naked. Huh. So I have this fear that I'm not going to be able to put the wheels back on in the same spot because, well, let's, why don't we test it out? So like if I put one here, I don't know if it's going to place the wheel because, yeah, because I, I first placed the wheels and then I built out the wheel well. Ah, that sucks. I don't want to redo it all. I guess I guess we're just gonna have this thing be a little taller than it was before. I don't know what else to do because I don't want to like I don't want to undo all this. So I was thinking about just spreading them out so they don't like clip, but I know that if I turn the steering off on these back ones, I can put three. So I think I'd rather have the extra weight that these that three wheels can hold rather than the turning of these two that they're separated. So I think I'm gonna redo that. Yeah, I still would have preferred if I could have had the wheels up one more, but such is life. So we'll do the same thing to the other side and we'll call this project done. Right, and 
we're done. Alright, I'm gonna go get some dinner and then when I come back we will uh, we will set up the configuration and we'll we'll check it off the to-do list. Alright, let's uh, configure this crawler a little bit. And since it's daytime, we can also take it out for a spin. Alright, let's go weld it and let's see if it'll work. I'm also gonna grind off that piston. Oh man, I, I forgot about that crash over there. Hmm. There is a part of my curiosity that does want to go mess with that. But alas, it's really not the most important thing. See, it's nice having that extra docking pad because now I can just like easily switch between my welder and my grinder. All right, ooh, should I? I don't want it to like roll away. All right, let me land on it, make sure that it's parked, and then, oh, ah, oh, crap. Why is there a hole here? All right, come down here. Man, that fall damage is like exponential. If I fall one block, I'm okay. But if I fall two blocks, heaven forbid, <laughs> it's like instant death, whatever. All right, let's uh, make sure that, nope, parking engaged. So hopefully when I grind this thing down, it will not move. There we go. Let me drop this thing off and then we'll mess with the strength and all that fun stuff. Okay, super dusty, but uh, let me tell you what I did. So I grouped my back wheels together and my front wheels together. That way, when we put cargo in here and it's under full load, I can strengthen the back wheels without like doing anything with the front wheels. So that way we can kind of offset it and try to get it to be straight. I also took some recommendations from some comments and I took braking off of the front wheels so it doesn't like nose dive. Um, and, uh, and then I took steering off the back wheels so that way like the wheel collisions don't get messed up. So now that all of that is done, uh, why don't we just take it out for a little drive. Let's try to avoid the turrets of that thing over there. So why don't we go over to the right. I might want to increase the steering angle of the front wheels now that we're kind of doing that. But yeah, so right now it's not under full load, obviously. So. So this is not the most like challenging of tests. I'm testing a car to see if the wheels work. <laughs> uh, and yes, they do. So not a big deal. Um, let's, uh, let's load up some components. Let's get the block placer and the, and the welding turtle put on this thing. And then we'll go over to the ice mine and we'll build some additional wind turbines. Hopefully I can still park it in the same spot. It's gonna be pretty difficult with all this dust and no lights. So let's put a light on the docking platform. Yeah, that looks like it'll do a little bit better to help me back into this thing. Okay, and there we go. And we're locked. Awesome. Oh, just in time, I'm thirsty. You know what I realized? Instead of, uh, instead of trying to guess the components I'm gonna need uh, to be able to make all the stuff over at that other base, I could also or I could instead just bring raw materials like iron, nickel, silicon, like the basic building stuff, and then I can uh, just build whatever I need to over there. I feel like that is just a better use of time rather than like being like, crap, we didn't have enough of this, and then we have to come back. Uh, but it is getting nighttime and it is so dusty. It's a terrible combination. All right, well, we fixed the crawler. We'll move that to the done list yeah and now we need to build more power for the ice mine you know what let's just uh, i don't like the dust i don't like that it's nighttime but i also don't like the idea of just sitting here twiddling my thumbs for forever so why don't we just get it done huh so it doesn't look like this no sorting means anything to the <laughs> izzy's thing watch oh there it goes there goes half of it and there goes the rest. Okay, uh, let me look that up again. Okay, so apparently the no sorting is supposed to be on the connector, not on the cargo. If I want the cargo containers not to be sorted, I need to put locked as the keyword. So I don't know if I have to put it in quotations, but we'll give it a go. That's how they have it on the thing. All right, so let's grab some, some iron. Let's see. Okay, looks like that's working. All right, let's... Uh, Let's grab a bunch of materials then. Okay, there we go. Why don't we bring 50,000 iron, 20,000 of the other stuff, a little bit of cobalt, 
and 900,000 stone. So if we do run out of anything else, we can just make more. I don't foresee us needing any platinum or silver or gold or anything else like that for the simple thing that we're doing. We just want to add some wind turbines and some batteries. So I think we're ready to go. And it looks like the dust is gone, which is, uh, thank you. So let's, uh, let's load up our vehicles onto the crawler and let's, let's do this thing. I've been procrastinating it for so long. <laughs> Let's just get it done. All right, let's grab this guy. We got the components, we got the, the builders. Let's do this thing. <laughs> you know, last time we took the crawler to the ice mine, we came home to a vehicle that had landed on our base. So I am really hopeful that that is not the case again. All right, let's turn on our headlights. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. Oh. Maybe, maybe less good than I thought. Uh, I think we're escaping on the ground. Okay, let's up the power of the back wheels. Actually, let's up the strength of both sets of wheels. And you know what? For the drive, I think we should also set it up so the height offset is higher. So that way we're off the ground more. We have a little better travel. Yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 no. Uh, something's going on. This thing is not happy. Can't see a dang thing. Put the turtle over here so I can better see what's going on. Now we have a spotlight, so let's see what's happening. So with the back wheels, let's take, see. So that should be fine. That back wheel did freak out a second. <laughs> as soon as I as soon as I put lights on it, it decides to behave itself. Watch as soon as I put as soon as I put the turtle back on here, it's gonna start freaking out again. All right, seems to be working. I'm not gonna change any more settings. I'm just gonna bring the turtle back over. The frustrating thing is is I can tell that it's probably the wheels like glitching out because they're so close to each other. But like on small grid, this is not an issue. Like I have had so many small grid vehicles that have had this same configuration before. I just I don't make I don't make large grid crawlers very often. It just seemed prudent for the, our current situation. You know what? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's this like thing connecting that's causing any issues. It, it shouldn't, but just to eliminate any additional like weirdness, I'm going to make it so this connector isn't by that thing just cuz, you know, sometimes sometimes added complication just well, complicates things. I doubt that would do anything, but you know, subgrids and whatnot. All right, let's see if I can drive now. Hello, ice mine. I have returned. Oh, 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 what did I hit? Did I break something? Oh, oh, we're clanging out, we're clanging out. <sighs> These wheels suck. They work sometimes, and then other times they're like, you know what, I don't feel like working. Uh, okay, all right, all right, okay, let me, we can fix this, we can fix this. Let's just turn it off. I don't think that did anything. Okay, let's, okay, let's, Grab the wheels and let's take the strength slowly down to zero. Okay. Yeah, there's been some damage here. Oh, I don't even know how this wheel is still hanging on. I guess the ladder is holding it. Oof. I need to see if I have any components in this base. Enough to get it functional, I think. Oh, good. And the dust is coming back. <laughs> Why not? You know? All right. I really need to put some lights on and around this thing so when the wheels bug out, we have more visual to work with. Okay, let's slowly turn up the strength. Nope, nope, nope. See, do you see that back wheel? It like pops out sometimes. Nope, just chill out back wheel. Chill out. No, chill, 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 chill. Okay, okay. Oh, you are not being chill. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, let's try this again. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, gosh, you are the worst. <sighs> okay, you know what? You know what? Let's just let's just keep it at zero, and see if we can just get it to the mine. All right, actually, I need to park it because I need I need the turtle to show me the way. Hmm, man, I should have just made this thing a skid. <laughs> <laughs> Slap some thrusters on here because then I don't think that there's like a really like a weight limit as long as you don't flip it I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just talking out loud. Okay, so let's illuminate our path with the turtle Go back grab this thing and see if we can line it up with the additional height We might not even be able to line it up which would suck. Oh, where am I going? The ladder is over here <laughs> This might, this might be the first thing I have to take off the done list, because clearly I did not fix it. Oh, no way. I don't think I'm going to be able to line it up because of the extra wheels, or the new height of the wheels. Dang it. All right, well, now what? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to... I'm going to manually pull out uh, the uh, some of the resources so I can adjust the connector to be up one higher. We're gonna have to do. Okay, let's do a quick little build montage and then uh, and then we'll connect the crawler to the ice mine. Oh man, we did it. Okay, all right. Now let's put to production some batteries for when storms hit, we can save up our power. All right, let's start putting down some batteries first. Sweet. We could honestly probably do with some more. I might as well make a few more. Let me put that to production. You know what, I think this is a great opportunity for my, uh, for my new street lights in that Rebel Lights mod. I think uh, putting those on, on top of these would be pretty cool. I think it's funny that I came here with the intention of generating more power <laughs> and I'm like, but what if we what if we used more energy though? What if we add these cool lights that are completely unnecessary but add a add a cool aspect to this this base that I am enjoying very much. Pretty funny. Alright, let me configure those other ones. Right as it's starting to turn day. I got my street lights dialed in. Oh, but we do have a storm incoming, so it'll still be dark. I don't think we've been over here during a storm, so we'll see how this goes. We do have several decoys. I have a decoy and a welder on the crawler ship up here. I have a decoy obviously on the tower, and then I have one on the mine, so hopefully we'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna go inside sit on the couch and wait out the storm. cleared it's a beautiful sunrise over the ice lake all right let's uh let's get to work on what we came here for all right let's grab our block placing ship which i think <laughs> i think is now named bob uh as in bob the builder but i think i'm gonna make that an acronym standing for builder of blocks either way you slice it its name is bob based on the community so i'm gonna grab bob and uh Let's start building us a new wind tower. Alright, 
let's weld up to that point and then we'll add the uh, the wind turbines. I gotta say, this block placer ship makes quick work of all that stuff. The the Bob. <laughs> the Bob or Bob really makes quick work of uh, of doing that kind of stuff. It's it is a pleasure to have Bob on board. Thank you for your service, Bob. Alrighty, there it is. The Tower of Power. Is it the prettiest thing I've ever built? Definitely not. But it's it's going to get the job done, especially when storms come through, it's going to charge those batteries right up. So hopefully this kind of solves our problem, unlike all of the problems that are still going on with the crawler. Yeah, and, uh, and we can get on with it. Uh, I also think while I'm here, it wasn't on the to-do list, but, you know, might as well, right? While I'm here, let's, uh, let's build some more hydrogen tanks might as well you may be asking yourself why do you need so many hydrogen tanks and honestly i probably don't i would rather have more than i need than less so if we fill them up let's add some more and fill those up too i realize now that i should have done this differently i should have done this like this We have another row of, of containers. All right, looks like we are good. Let's just make sure our hydrogen tanks are filling. And they are, in fact. Cool. And our hydrogen engines are off. We will leave this to do its thing. Now with the additional, what, like 13 uh, wind uh, turbines and these six additional batteries. I mean, we do need a storm to come through to kind of charge these up. I think, I think we'll be okay. If we run out of power, it's just gonna turn the whole thing off and then a storm's gonna come through and then it's gonna charge it back up and yeah. So, um, I do not want to take the crawler back to the base. It takes up so much space and it is a pain. It really is. So, I'm going to try to do something very, very sketchy. And I hope that I can get away with it. Because I need to get both of these ships back. And yeah, I could, I could set their dampeners to relative and, and do it that way. But this little guy is just so small. I bet we can just sit him right on top of the turtle and still be able to fly. All right. And I'm going to put my spectator in there because I think right now he's chilling in the crawler. Let's see if I can get away with this. So it's not going to work on a, on its standard way. I have I have an alternative method that I think will make, that might work. All right. So check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy, turn it back on, unlock it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it off the back. I'm going to override it's uh, downward facing thrusters. Uh, okay, and hopefully I don't break off the those reactors on the back, but it's not that big of a deal if I do. Okay, so now let's put our spectator back in. All right, and then let me heal up again. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, it does in fact, kind of. Uh, oh no, uh, why? Can I not control anything? Ooh, was this a mistake? Uh, a connected ship has taken control. Hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, looks like we're the spectator right now. Let me, <laughs> let me move my microphone over this way. And, uh, and let me see if I can get us home. We 
made it back. So let me let me flip back to my other configuration. So I'm using my main computer rather than the spectator cam. And let's uh, let's get this situated. So I need to turn my my backwards thrust back on, and then I need to undock. Oh no, it's, where's the turtle going? Oh, well this one's going right there. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Oh, did you guys see that? Oh man, oh. <laughs> of all the stupid ideas that I've had. Ah oh, man, I think I flipped it over. I did in fact flip it over. That is unfortunate. What did I break on this thing? Oh, the timers. Oh, and some of my other thrust, I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I get for uh, doing that. Okay, um, um, I wonder if it would do better the other way. I don't even know if we can go the other way. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Hey, that worked. I don't know why I need to keep the gyro at override 60, but it works. Okay, so let's grab that landing gear, this one, and let's lock it. Awesome. Hey, we did it. Okay. I hope I had a, this thing blueprinted. It would be pretty dumb if I didn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't blueprint it. Classic. Okay, well, all right, well, I'm gonna bring the turtle back to the base, and then we'll figure out a way to go get that other guy. Let's do a quick drive-by of our welding wall. There we go. Could we get that as well? All right, I think, I could be wrong, and that seems to happen a lot, but I think I can go pick up Bob in the Evermore. Let's go see if I'm correct in that assumption. All right, let's see. Well, I guess one thing I could try before I do another stupid thing is uh what are the odds this thing can just fly oh very very bad oh 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 okay hold on hold on hold on oh no i forgot about the gyroscope <laughs> all right i have an idea let's do this turn it back on and lock well if stuff wasn't broken before i think it is now let's go to that gyroscope and let's take let's turn that back to zero and let's turn that off okay now Dang, man, I always forget. This is why, this is exactly why. Oh, oh. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, okay, I wonder. <sighs> let's try that again. <sighs> no, let's not try that again. Let's, oh, now we are properly upside down again. Poor Bob. That, that stunt would have been a lot easier on the way back had I had the turtle in control rather than Bob. Like, I had things on override, I was doing this and that and this and that, and it's just like, oh, you know what I wanna do instead? I'm gonna go from the back because we're on a hill. So I feel like if I, if I grab it from downhill, that means when I turn around, I should have it higher up on my landing gear so it doesn't drag. Again, a theory. All right. Oh, Bob, this is, this is not your day. I feel like, I feel like I need to figure out a way to, if it was flipped over, like if I would have freaking done this while it was flipped over, I would have, I would have had it. Cause those landing gears on the bottom are uh, like, they're pretty good with the friction. All right, let me see if I can flip it back over again. Okay, where's, oh, our gyroscope is broken. Ugh. All right, well, this is about all I can do, so. We're just gonna drag Bob back to the base and hope that there is something left of him. <laughs> Otherwise, I guess we're building new Bob. Bob 2. All right. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, Bob 2 it is then. Uh, rest in peace, friend. I made some mistakes. I'm not a perfect person, and I am sorry. <sighs> Poor Bob. Alrighty, friends. With the death of Bob, I think that's probably where we're going to end it for today. 
but we did build more power generation at the other place and i'm sure it's flourishing right now with this crazy sandstorm and charging its batteries we're gonna have more hydrogen than we know what to do with and so that leads us to i mean the big thing which is designing our spaceship i am probably gonna do that in creative mode because trying to design something with all of the conditions that i have here and have it look as awesome as i want it to uh is probably not something that can be done so anyway next time what we're gonna do is we're going to i mean yeah we're gonna start like prepping for space i i don't think i need to do the elevator anymore and i and i don't think i need to make a more bot anymore the 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 big ones are these but in addition i also hanging head in shame i need to build bob too because bob too is going to become very very helpful for the rest of this kind of stuff so yeah i think once we do these things it's time for space which is both exciting and nerve-wracking all at the same time so anyway thanks so much for tuning in to no suit survival and we'll catch you next time